data validation to prevent a user entering extra spaces before or after a word or extra spaces between a word. So for example, down here, if I've got Newport Pagnell, I don't really want Newport space space Pagnell. I just want Newport and then one space Pagnell. And the same with Milton Keynes at the top. All the other towns here, things uh, towns like Oxford, Leicester, we don't want any leading spaces or trailing spaces. All these extra spaces prevent you from carrying out a nice neat analysis of your data because rugby space is not rugby. So we use a trim function to remove leading, trailing and extra spaces but we can use this same trim function within data validation. So let's go and have a look at it. The first thing to do is highlight the area that you would like to validate. So this is the area that I'd like to enter data in. Then you go up to your data tab at the top and then over to data validation. And you get this dialog box just here. And at the moment, every cell is any value. So for this range of cells, I'd like to change this to a custom data validation. Then we need to put a formula inside this box here. So if you click the arrow at the end, that collapses your dialog box and just click the first cell in your range, that active cell there. So that's equals K2 in this case. Click your little arrow again. And now we finish the formula off with K2 needs to equal the trim of K2. And then just click OK. And if we go and check if this works let's put a space and start typing a town Milton Keynes press enter and it comes up the value does not match the data validation restrictions defined for this cell this forces the user to retry and will remove the space and press enter and it works but we want to make this a bit more user friendly so if we highlight that range again and then go to data validation and here's our customized data validation if you come over to input message we can put a title here I'm just going to call this town which is the same title as the heading at the top and then my input message can be something like please enter the full town name over here we've got error alert so if we click this one and we want to leave this on stop so the user can't go any further unless they've entered it incorrectly and then the title can be something like extra spaces and then we can have a message that says something like, please make sure you enter the town name without any extra spaces before, after, or in between the town name. Click OK. And now when we click into a cell, we get this little information pop up and it says, please enter the full town name. So I'm going to enter a full town name. Let's put Northampton press enter and that works. Now let's do the same North Hampton and press the space bar and enter and we get our message. Here it says extra spaces. Please make sure you enter the town name without any extra spaces before or after or between the town name. So I can now click retry and see, oh yes, I've put a space at the end. So I'll just remove that space and press enter and there you have it a nice quick and simple way to ensure that all your data is correct now you may have noticed that when I 
entered the data validation setup, I included data that was already there. And that's because I want to check that the data that's already there has been entered in the correct format. If you come up to data validation and click circle invalid data, you get some circles around the data that's not been entered correctly. So this means we can now go to this data and I can see that Benfleet has got a space at the end. I can press enter after I've removed it. It looks like Milton Keynes, let's check each one, has got an extra space in the middle. Let's remove that and press enter. That works. And then we go to Nottingham and they've got an extra space at the end. So we press, let's delete that, press enter and rugby. So there's no extra space at the end. So it must be at the beginning. There we go. Now all our invalid data has been corrected. So thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next video.